Hey everyone, it's IPTVPro.ca, just giving you a quick video to show you how to set up your Android device so you can access our amazing live HD stream TV and save you a ton of cash in the process. Now I'm using BlueStacks on my MacBook Pro for the example purpose here, um, but when you open your Android box or device, you start it up, it should look similar to this. Now in your applications, as long as you have the Play Store, we can get started. So go ahead and open the Play Store. Now we're looking for, it's already there, STB emulator, or by short it goes by STB emu. So go ahead and search that application. Let's see a bunch come up here. The first one here, the free version. Now the free version just has a little bit of ads on the top while you're loading the device. Um, you can get the free one I think for $8. It's pretty cheap, um, but it's all about aesthetics. So. so over here you'll see a download button. And for this example, I've already downloaded it, but go ahead and click download. That could take a minute just to load. Once it's downloaded, you'll get an open button like I have in front of me. Go ahead and click open. Now, you'll either see a black screen that has a little configure button on the bottom here, or you'll have what I have right in front of me. And to access any of these settings at any time while using the emulator, just click on the screen. And boom, all the settings come up here. So to get started, what we need to know is I need to know what your device is, what your number of your device is. It's called a virtual MAC address. So you go into the settings here, you're going to go to STB configuration. Now this basically tells me your device when you're asking access to my server. So right here, the MAC address, it always starts with 001A. Now you're going to go ahead and write that down before you email us or message us on Facebook. Um, to give you access to the server. So in our case here, it's 001A790E99B9. Now make sure you write that down. Once you have your own personal MAC address written down, we're just going to go back here and click on profile name. So in this case, we can name it whatever we want. But it's just so if you ever connect to other profiles from other servers or other providers, um, you'll know the dis distinction. So for our case here, I just put IPTVPro.ca. Okay. And then portal settings. Now this all looks confusing, but really the URL is the key part. This is what gets you access to the server. Now default, it already has a stalker kind of uh, link in there. You're going to go ahead and delete that. Now our portal, this is, this is very important, it's premium-iptv.link 6969-c. So make sure you have that exactly. That basically would tell your device, hey, I want to access premium IPTV through iptvpro.ca. Okay. So you're pretty much set up, ready to go. Now, as long as you email us your virtual MAC address, which was on that previous page, we can set you up. So once it's all in there and we give the OK, you're registered in the server, you're going to go back to the main screen. It's going to look, you're going to look at it and be like, it's not loaded yet. Click down on the settings and you got to reload the portal. Now we just saved all the information in your, in your settings and configuration. So all you got to do is reload it. you'll see it's loading because the screen will go black with the loading bar. Now that's, um, that's just the configuration we have with our servers, just so you know that it's us. Now there is over 6,000 streams it's loading, so it could take a while depending on your Android device. But here's the main screen. So for TV, we're in the TV section automatically. Uh, don't mind these buttons, I have to use them because I'm on a MacBook. But essentially, I'm going to go down if it lets me, to Canada, not Caribbean. All right, now we're already on Sportsnet, so let's go ahead and give that a second there, and it should load in our preview window. And there we go, we got some uh, highlights of Hyman scoring a goal last night off a tip. It's beautiful. All right. Now, if you want to see that full screen, all you got to do is click OK. And there you are. You have a live streaming now. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. 
Again, our website is iptvpro.ca. Cheers.